an emergency. What does that mean? Dick Rochford here. Um, most emergencies in this aircraft, it's it's just so reliable. American They're really abnormal. So let's talk a little bit about what it, what's the difference. Uh, there are three colors of enunciators. Uh, one is yellow, or correction, one is white, which is advisory. So if I turn on the ignition manually, I put the fuel pumps on manual, I, I get some enunciators. And they're all advisory. Ignition on, left fuel pump on, right fuel pump on. Now, if the system is working correctly when the pumps are in manual, it's possible to get an imbalance because the auto feature will turn on one pump at a time to rectify any imbalance that occurs naturally. This is why we keep pumps in auto. And again, ignition in cruise flight should be in auto in the event torque falls below a preset value. So advisories are just that. There's nothing to be done except look around and make sure everything's the way you want it. The next enunciator is uh, yellow. So if I turn off the pedo heat, I get a blinking yellow light with the word pedo heat off on it and a blinking caution light. Now, as in most jets, it's possible to have more than one yellow light at a time. It would be hard to see if all you saw were blinking lights. So the advice is to read the caution, extinguish the master caution, and then deal with the one you got. Could be there's another one coming along, in which case, if another one comes along, you'll get another blinking light. In this case, stall heat. So we we quell, quench the master caution, and now we have two to deal with. And we know right where to look. We just come up and turn these guys back on, because Garmin and Piper both want these on. So that solves the problem of the yellow lights. Yellow lights mean property damage may occur, essentially. Uh, red lights, on the other hand, mean property damage or personal injury could result. In the case of the former, yellow light, you're advised to land as soon as practical. That means on a runway, perhaps somewhere where there's maintenance to deal with the problem. Red light means land as soon as possible. And it doesn't mean a highway or a bean field. It means on a runway. But don't overflow, uh, overfly a suitable runway, whether there's maintenance or not. That's what that means. And no, don't wait for an airport with an Uber. That's, that's not fair either. If it's a red light, land as soon as possible. One caution, correction, one advisory you might get uh, that I've seen eh, more than once, frankly, is AV1 or AV2 fan fail. Now, it's, it's a white enunciator, and along with that enunciator, you will s smell electrical smoke. And uh, it isn't dense smoke, so you can still see. And if you dump the cabin, if your eyes are burning, dump the cabin and close the inflow, you'll get fresh air coming in the bleed air, or coming in the fresh air vent. And you can deal with it that way. But I, I wouldn't land on a highway, for example, if I had a white uh, light. If there are no red or yellow lights, I wouldn't, I wouldn't divert. But if you have to divert, what's the best way to do it? And, you know, there are a couple ways to do this, but I'm going to go with uh, nearest. And this is the latest iteration in the G3000 with a GTC touchscreen TTCs, Garmin touchscreen controllers, uh, we could go to nearest airport and it'll list them. And of course, we could tap on it, direct enter, enter. Here's the direction, the distance. And from 280, we could probably hit any of these. 
maybe not, but certainly got fields that we can hit. Gives the runway length, so this is really not a bad thing. Uh, now then, if you're landing and you still have power, um, don't feather the prop. Here in this aircraft, if you feather the prop, of course, you're going to get a uh, cutoff feather. That means you're also going to take the fuel away. That would not be good. If you do have a red light and, and perhaps a fire, you would use the fuel shutoff to resolve that. Turn to the runway. Begin a descent. Do not rush. Do not use fast twitch muscles. Allow ATC to help you, but you make all the decisions. Land with a tailwind, I don't care. It's a red light. Get on the ground safely, promptly, without rushing. And remember, after the mains are down, center the pedal, pedals, the rudder pedals, and lower the nose. Remember, folks, that's one word. Center the pedals and lower the nose. That's all one word. Back pressure brakes and beta. This is Dick Rochford. Fly safely. Train off.